Hello everyone, my name is Madison Sorello. I'm the owner and managing partner here at Unique Accounting. You can learn more about what we do by visiting our website at u-uniqueaccounting.com. And while you're there, I recommend you check out our free stuff page where you can read our blog and download some free guidebooks like the top 10 cash flow mistakes that can cripple a business. Also, if you're wondering what I'm drinking today, today's beverage of choice is a Trader Joe's sparkling coconut water with yuzu. It's one of my favorite go-to beverages. And if you notice my cup, it is bearing the hashtag make today count. This is a slogan for my best friends foundation, which is a close and personal not-for-profit that I'm a board member of. A link will be provided for a form you can fill out if you or someone you know is dealing with the impact of cancer in their life. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. And today's topic is the FICA tip credit for bars and restaurants. In about 10 to 15 seconds, I want you to press pause in this video because I want you to find a copy of your business tax return. I want you to flip and scroll through it and look for form 8846, which is the credit for employer social security and Medicare taxes paid on certain employee tips. And it looks like this. So here's the form 8846, that credit for employee social security, Medicare taxes paid on tips, and it would have a tax credit you get. So again, if you didn't hit pause, please hit pause now on this video and look for that form. If you see the form, good. I'll explain what it is in a bit if you're not familiar on why you have the form. If you do not see the form with your tax return, then I highly recommend that you please schedule a meeting with us to discuss your accounting and taxes. We will be able to save you possibly tens of thousands of dollars a year. So what is the FICA tip credit? So essentially, this credit is a way for the government to cut restaurants and bars a break on the tax that is owed on employees' tips. The credit is money back from the government based on the amount of tips that your employees reported as wages. And every employer must currently match a dollar for dollar and pay it to the federal government. The Social Security portion is 6.2%, up to a limit of $147,000 as of 2022. And the Medi Medicare portion is 1.45%. Before the credit was enacted, it was estimated maybe about 15% of tip income in the industry was reported. So the IRS thought that by eliminating the tax, the businesses that typically comes with reporting this income, that business owners would uh, no longer be deterred from hiding unreporting tip income. So is this a good tax credit? Yes, this credit is a return of all that FICA tax paid on your employees' tip wages that are in excess of the federal minimum wage of $5.15. Yes, this is not an error. You heard this correctly. The credit still uses the federal minimum wage threshold that was set back when the credit was enacted. So in layman's terms, with today's higher minimum wage thresholds, you will receive a FICA tip credit on 100% of all the reported tip wages to your employees. This tax credit is a huge tax break, considering that probably more than 50% of your employees' wages are normally made up from tips received. Now you're asking yourself, great, I saw the form, I understand it, but do I qualify? So yes, as a bar or restaurant, you will qualify for this credit as there are only two criteria to qualify and they were both written to benefit your specific industry. And the two requirements are, number one, your employees receive tips from customers for providing, delivering, or serving food or beverages for consumption where tipping is customary. And then criteria number two is that your business paid or incurred the employer social security and Medicare tax on those tips, meaning you report them as wages and pay the tax on them. So how can I tell if, if I'm currently taking advantage of this credit? In order to get the credit, on your business tax return, you have to file form 8846. This needs to be included with your business tax return to get the credit. If you do not see this form, then plain and simple, you are not getting the credit. So now that you found out you're missing this credit, could there be other credits you might be missing? So the answer is maybe. The R&D tax credit is another smaller credit that you may qualify for and that most accountants implement with their bar restaurant clients. Please find or stay tuned for a video regarding this important tax credit. In the meantime, I suggest you visit our free stuff page and download our free guide for the eight small business tax credits that you should know about. Some of these credits are general ones, old business types, and others are industry specific, just like the FICA tip credit and a good accountant will help you with this. So if you believe you qualify for the credit but did not see form 8846 filed with your business tax return, what should you do? The answer is find yourself a better account, seriously. This is too important of a tax credit to have it done incorrectly or to miss it altogether. If your accountant didn't do it and you bring it up to them, I would not trust that they're actually gonna fill it out correctly. Find someone in your industry who specializes in accounting for your bar or restaurant. And I'm telling you the tax dollars saved will more than cover any additional fees needed to pay 
for more sophisticated accountants. So if your accountant missed this tax credit, you may be asking yourself, what else could they be missing? So like we brought up, they could be missing other tax credits like the R&D tax credit. They're probably not utilizing the 13 month calendar reporting period for your accounting. Again, we have a video on this that you can watch too. They're probably using an incorrect chart of accounts that doesn't cater to your industry. And they're not using a correct financial statement format to analyze your prime costs and uncontrollable costs. And I'll tell you right now, if you are using QuickBooks as your accounting software, then you are 100% using an incorrect chart of accounts and financial statement format because QuickBooks cannot do it. You can see our video on why your bar or restaurant should use zero and why your bar or restaurant should use a 13 month calendar on our YouTube channel. Well, thank you for listening to our advice on the FICA tip credit for bars and restaurants. If you appreciate our advice, please remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel for future content. Until then, remember, don't conform, stay unique.